as the Villanova Wildcats captured its second national championship in three years. Winning every NCAA tournament game by double digits, it was the most dominating run in college basketball since the 2009 North Carolina Tar Heels. With the NBA playoffs almost underway, teams like the Phoenix Suns, Memphis Grizzlies, Atlanta Hawks, Orlando Magic, and the Dallas Mavericks will likely get a top 5 pick, drafting guys like DeAndre Ayton, Luka Doncic, Marvin Bagley, Michael Porter, and Mo Bamba. How's it going guys? My name is Wilson. While most first round picks are one and done prospects, there's been plenty of great NBA players who were lottery picks that stayed two or more years in college, like Donovan Mitchell, Chris Dunn, and Victor Oladipo. Finishing his season as a retro junior, Villanova's Mikhail Bridges has emerged as one of the best prospects in the draft as a very athletic 6'7 small forward with his ability to score without the ball, defend multiple positions, and shoot efficiently from three, Bridges has a chance to become a very special player in the NBA for years to come. Arguably the best two-way player in the coming draft, the 21-year-old Philly native started getting very serious with the game of basketball during his sophomore year at Great Valley High School where he had a 3-inch growth spurt from 6'3 to 6'6. Six, six. His high school coach Jim Nolan described Bridges as very coachable. Eager to learn and getting better at his craft, Bridges always came to practice on time and would put in the extra hours in the gym during the offseason. At the time, assistant coach Ashley Howard recruited him for savior before Howard took the job to be on Jay Wright's staff, which helped influence Bridges' decision to stay close to home. Once Bridges arrived to campus in the summer of 2014, he took another major step in his development with coach Wright deciding to redshirt him. As a skinny, lanky 18-year-old freshman, the 6'7 Bridges Bridges weighed only about 170 pounds and struggled to even bench press 135. Josh Hart would often use to push him around at practice, while Bridges' skinny frame made other schools skeptical of his potential. As that didn't stop Bridges from reaching greatness, red shirting would turn out to be one of the best decisions to happen to Mikhail as he was an immediate contributor making a strong impact in his first year of competition, coming off the bench in 20 minutes of action, averaging nearly 6.5 points, and was most memorable for his excellent defense in the Elite Eight against Kansas, snatching 5 steals, making big plays down the stretch in the nail-biting win, eventually winning his first national title over North Carolina. Bridges got more and more comfortable with the Wildcats rotation his second season, started every game and grew as a leader, learning from veteran guys like Josh Hart and Chris Jenkins. Improved mightily as a sophomore, earning himself some recognition as a future first round pick, almost averaging 10 points, 4.5 rebounds, shot 39% from 3, and over 1.5 steals. Returning for his junior season, Bridges' draft stock soared and proved why he was one of the best players in college basketball, improving on all cylinders, taking over games with his lockdown defense, and having multiple games hitting 5 or more threes, even pulling up from 28 feet a la Kevin Durant style. His versatility, defensive prowess, and ability to impact the game separates him from the rest. At 6'7 and weighing 210 pounds, gaining about 40 pounds and stepping foot in college, Bridges' similarities reminds a lot of people like Kawhi Leonard, the quiet assassin. No, I'm not saying Bridges will be as good as Kawhi, or maybe even guys like Paul George and Klay Thompson, but his upside and potential is unlimited with his overall skill set. The likely teams to draft Bridges includes the Bulls, Cavs, and Knicks, a perfect fit for either three of these teams, especially on the defensive end, helping out Zach Levine's flaws on defense, bringing excitement to the struggling young Knicks rebuilding for the future, and perhaps a future teammate of LeBron James, while the Cavs can get better on defense and add another shooter. One thing that stands out to me about Mikhail Bridges is his patience and personality that will go a long way in the NBA. If you're a college basketball fan, Bridges was essentially a role player, fitting in the system, making superstar plays, doesn't try to do too much, and often puts up 20 points on 10 shots. Villanova is known to redshirt a lot of their players for them to get better in practice and fit perfectly in the system, like guys like Dante DiVincenzo, Eric Pasco, Phil Booth for injury and transfer reasons. However, Bridges wasn't injured, but decided to redshirt his freshman year to use the opportunity to learn more about the game and get better. In the one and done era, most college players will have their egos in the way and would refuse to take a step back. With his patience, even if Mikhail doesn't put up high numbers right away, his work ethic will allow him to improve every day as a great team player as his body continues to develop. Bridges doesn't care if he scores 30 points or 2 points, as long as his team wins, that's that's all it matters. Over his 3 year stint with the Wildcats, his improvement has been astonishing, from shooting 30% from 3 his freshman year to an amazing 43%. He can block shots, 
often defend the opposing team's best player and puts in the same amount of effort on defense as much as offense. He makes threes and free throws the same rate as Luke Kennard and Lowry Markkinen, the two best shooters in the 2017 draft class, and can get blocks and steals at the same rate as Josh Jackson. With his combination of beautiful stroke and suffocating defense, Bridges is the perfect fit for any team needing a solid perimeter player that can do it all, simply a guy who can dominate with or without the ball. With all his qualities, I'd be shocked if Bridges didn't turn out to be a good NBA player. Over a consistent stretch of this past season, Bridges took over on both ends of the floor like hitting 4 consecutive threes in a blowout win at Xavier in the span of 4 minutes, the crazy sequence against Gonzaga, having a monster dunk following with a huge block a few seconds after, which reminds me a lot of Kawhi Leonard scoring the game winner on Houston, getting back on defense blocking James Harden's shot for the game winning play. As an excellent catch and shoot guy, Bridges' jumper is as pure as it gets. So confident in that pull up, he doesn't even need much space to shoot with that quick release. That shot will be absolutely impeccable in the NBA. Although he does have a few weaknesses and will have to improve in putting the ball on the floor, creating space on offense, and getting to the rim more to develop his drive and kick game, those qualities will eventually develop over time. With his patience and positive attitude, I have no doubt that Mikhail Bridges will become a terrific NBA player for years to come, where I can see him excelling best in a Klay Thompson type role, potentially a 20 plus point game scorer in less than 14 shot attempts, fitting perfectly within the system, get to the rim at times, doesn't dribble too much or force up poor percentage shots, and can become an excellent lockdown and help defender who will guard all-star point guards to power forwards. At the very worst, I believe Mikhail Bridges will at least be an Otto Porter type caliber player, but a way better defender. And based on his shooting, I believe Bridges will one day become a 50-40-90 guy in the NBA. Don't be surprised if Bridges will end up being one of the top players from the 2018 NBA draft, looking back 5-10 to 10 years from now. With his incredible poise and excellent basketball IQ, how good do you guys think Mikhail Bridges will become? I believe he can end up being a top 15 player one day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I talk NBA comparisons, amazing storylines, make bold predictions, NBA history, and anything basketball that will interest you. If you love the NBA, subscribe to my channel. See you next time.